developed for the purpose of long-distance and high-endurance patrols and scientific exploration. The Soyuz-class cruisers were a rare example of a purpose-built Miranda variant, as opposed to the numerous refits of Miranda-class ships which occurred throughout the 22nd and 23rd century. The small number of Soyuz-class ships were based upon the then-proven Miranda hull, but incorporated numerous changes and additions to the basic ship which made them substantially different to any other variant or subclass of the Miranda. In the 2280s, in response to the heightened tensions with the Federation's neighbors, Starfleet had begun to draw its cruisers away from their usual exploratory missions and into fleet formations within Federation territory proper, as a means of protecting Federation territory and lives in the event of war. While this redeployment would aid greatly in strengthening Starfleet's strength along the borders, it did leave the traditional cruiser role of exploration and surveying vacant, or nearly so. While the fleet did have some dedicated science vessels, namely the numerous Oberth class, these were considered too small and limited for truly long-term missions as was typical of cruisers to perform, as well as being lightly armed in the very real event that they came under fire from hostile forces while on their missions. Smaller ships, such as frigates or destroyers, were needed nearly as desperately as cruisers along the borders, and besides were too small and weak themselves for use as science ships far beyond Federation borders. Never mind that these ships very often had very cramped interiors that could not accommodate a large scientific team and further sensor packages. The obvious answer was to build a new dedicated science ship class. But this then faced the obvious problem that Starfleet was engaged in a major arms race with multiple powers at once, and spending money on a scientific ship when every part of the budget was needed for further line vessel construction was wasteful and a poor use of funds. The Copernicus fleet yards in the Alpha Centauri system presented a possible solution, however. A dedicated science vessel with extensive range based on the Miranda hull with limited armament and prolonged range. Costs would be kept down by the aforementioned limited armament and extensive use of both off-the-shelf parts and civilian components where possible on lower-stress elements of the hull. Weighing the pros and cons of this planned design, Starfleet would wait until 2286 before ordering a prototype vessel, the USS Soyuz, this ship would be put through substantial testing before being accepted into service, and a limited series run of ships proved to follow on. Built between 2287 and 2291, in total, nine Soyuz-class ships would be commissioned by Starfleet, and see good service exploring and charting new regions, expanding the knowledge of the known universe as they went, as was very typical for Starfleet explorers. More ships were initially planned, but by the time the class was under construction, the reason for their design had fallen by the wayside with the end of the Cold War with the Klingon Empire, following the destruction of Praxis, and the retreat of the Romulan Star Empire into another prolonged period of isolation, following the Tomid Incident and the subsequent Treaty of Algeron. The ships which were commissioned would be used extensively, however, and did give very good service, generally being deployed for long-term detailed surveys of systems earlier cruisers had visited briefly. Following up where the limited, to a degree, sensor suites of typical Starfleet cruisers likely missed quite a lot of things, and doing more detailed scans of the systems they had visited. The ships were withdrawn from service gradually as their standard hull components wore out, being replaced in the surveyor role by the Surak class in the 2340s, the Suraks being a further variant of the Miranda class. One ship, USS Bozeman, was lost while in service and declared missing, being eventually recovered, intact and with her crew alive, by the USS Enterprise. Although a lesser-known design with only a temporary service record compared to other Miranda variants, 
The Soyuz class is an interesting and engaging design with a unique history, born from the geopolitical environment of the time, and shows the thinking and doctrine of the time as well. And the ship deserves to be remembered as the interesting and innovative class that it is, not the footnote in the broader history of the Miranda class that it is so often treated as. This video was sponsored by my patrons. There's a link down below should you wish to support me or just check it out. I do some extra stuff. There's usually a newsletter, though there wasn't this week because I was figuring out this video. I'll explain that here in a bit. Generally, thanks to people that support me on Patreon. Um, they're awesome. Link below as I say. Uh, this video is the last video in what I called Miranda Month back in April. I had originally intended this video to be done quite a bit earlier. You'll notice there's been about a week gap in videos. Uh, this script was written, ready to go about a week ago, but then I got my new computer and I've been spending about a week setting it up, playing with it, trying to get everything set up just right, and I only kind of just now got around to working on this. So... Yeah, that kind of explains the delay. I am sorry about that, but videos should be coming out now. On a more regular basis, hopefully, if I'm not super lazy. This is really making Patreon support sound like not such a good idea. Uh, anyway, moving on swiftly and ignoring that, um, new videos should be up fairly regularly. I'm trying to record them in advance now, just because scheduling kind of gets in the way. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, it's the last of the Miranda Month videos, so I have a playlist somewhere that has all of them. Go back and watch those. Um, more videos in coming. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to the video and the channel and all that stuff that professional, better YouTubers than me are always, you know, going on about. Uh, be sure to do that. And I think I've drugged this conclusion on long enough, so have a good day.